I always sent this video on a text. You can text me if you'd like to suggest some people that I can react to. But this was one of the ones that came up wow. a couple of times. And I've actually never listened to them before. I've, of course, listened to Jefferson Aeroplane, but not Starship. And this is a kind of a mashup of artists. It's got Crosby and Nash. It's got some members of the Grateful Dead and Jefferson Aeroplane and they've all kind of dropped in and out to make some beautiful music. Thank you. From drug songs to love songs. Mickey Thomas, I've never heard him before. Wow! Wow! Control, right? And tone! He does them much better than me. They're really precise. He, each note is just dead on the money. And the only way to do that is to slow it down, same, and just get it really clean, slow. The way, you know you've got it right because it feels like you're almost hitting little steps in your voice, same. But if you fall down the steps, then you know, you probably need to clean it up a bit. <laughs> it's so high as well. Woo! Yes! Is that Anne Wilson? I don't know, I don't think it was. So this sort of singing, there's no easy way to be like, oh yeah, that's easy peasy, everyone can sing like that. What is really important is that he is in a mix, he is not in a push chess voice, so he has like a really kind of, that kind of punchy sound, quite a lot of twang in there, but it isn't combined with a high larynx. Often people feel like, uh, it gets that kind of tight feeling, but I can hear the warmth in it, which means he's relaxing his tongue, he's relaxing his jaw, and you can see that. And he's letting his larynx be at least neutral or free. It, you know, it might raise a little bit, your larynx sometimes comes up, but you don't want it to be full of tension. You want it to be able to move and relax um, as much as possible. <laughs> Those vowels are cool. Oh, no. Yes! 
what's even more impressive isn't that he's able to hit those notes, that he's able to sustain it and then add vibrato on it. Da, 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 da. it it's not dissimilar to how I would place it, which means that his voice is mega high. Um, but it isn't It isn't really chest voicey at all, and that's what's deceiving about it. It probably feels to him quite like head voice, although it's like kind of a step in in the mix mix zone and it just has a little bit of compression in a little bit of energy behind it but he's been very gentle with his breath often when we get to these high notes ah, we try and ah, to get more volume we push more breath behind it but he's da, 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 da. whoa whoa it actually requires way less breath than you think and a good way to do it is to be like hey hey you like kind of Mickey Mouse shouting at its friend across the street. How would Mickey Mouse shout? And feel what that feels like in your voice. If you can get that tone, then you kind of want to add that into your voice to get, you know, use that to help you get to that sound that he's using right now. See! It's very healthy singing as well. Healthy placement. Drops his jaw on that E as well. Yeah. Oh. texting in and suggesting this wonderful guy and this wonderful band that was really really incredible thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed if you did please do like and subscribe i am also releasing some covers on spotify and i would love if you would take a listen and let me know what you think there's also a youtube video of it and i shall see you in the next one bye